Okay guys, this is Gavin from Health and Performance. Um, just a quick one today, just showing you how we can improve bench press position. So Billy's having trouble with scapular depression or retraction and in the bench setup and also through the actual execution of the bench. So it's going to show you a quick fix you can use. So this is going to be a, probably isn't going to be a long term fix, but it can get you out of trouble, get you in a much better position on the day so you can get through your, your work sets. Okay, so what we found is <clears throat> Billy's struggling with retraction. She seems really tight in the upper traps. So what we can do is actually just sort of try and activate the lats and create that, that depression of the whole uh, shoulder girdle because the upper traps want to elevate the shoulder girdle. We tried that. That didn't really work too well. We've, we've spent a bit of time on it. That hasn't done too much. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to go into some soft tissue work with the upper traps just to kind of calm them down and also activate the lats after and see if we can get a better position through there. So first thing I'm going to do as well, Billy's lats are, are real tight as well. So we're going to do a little bit of release work on the, uh, on the lat. Uh, and again, sort of relative to the bench press position. So Billy's going to bend her elbow. We're just going to take this and just a little bit of gentle pressure in through the lat. Billy's going to work into external rotation, which she was struggling to get into as well. Get here all the way to the floor. There we are. Yeah, so you see she's, she's struggling to get external rotation. And this is not normally the case with Billy. She's not normally someone who has a mobility issues through the shoulder. And then go into your overhead position. So now we're just lengthening the lat at the same time. Kick it. And then we want to come down to neutral position and go into a, a bent stroke. So he's going to actually push into the bent stroke, actively pull down for about three to five reps. So this is something I picked up from Kyle at Kabuki Strength. Uh, thanks, Kyle. Um, it's a real handy little tool. Good. And then we want to go also into the upper trap. So we want to go into depression and free up some space in the trap there. We want to come in and around. Yeah. And she's going to go external rotation. And there it's applying enough pressure to be about a 7 out of 10. Seven, seven, oh, sorry, 10 being the most pressure. And then up, and then she's going to go into her bent stroke only. So into that bent stroke, still applying about a 7 out of 10 pressure. Good, Billy. One more. Good. That's great. Down. So we've kind of freed up the uh, the upper traps. So it's going to be easier to go into depression of the shoulder girdle. Now we're going to try and activate the uh, trap. So she's going to lay on her right side. And it's going to some side lying uh, external rotations. What we do, we're going to cue that scapula down to the opposite glute to take advantage of that posterior oblique sling that kind of helps in the bench anyway. We're going to do about 10 reps. And you notice that the elbow is being pinned to the side. We're not going to full external rotation. We're going as far as we can go whilst maintaining elbow position. So you just go for probably two, three more. Good. And again, you guys, you can see this lat's really firing up now. And that's going to help depress the shoulder girdle and scapula in the bench press position. So that's great, Billy. Let's uh, get you on the bench and see how we go. So, so Billy, uh, you've just done your last work, uh, last warm-up set. Um, how did it feel after the corrections? Yeah, way better. Felt the position easier and it felt perfect. Ready to go for your work sets? Yeah, for sure. Let's, Let's do, do it. it.